Hallelujah, praise the Lord and glory be to God. It is such a wonderful opportunity and a great time again, dear viewers, uh, to prepare ourselves for 2024. And uh, in this sharing tonight, I want to share with you five things, five things that you need to do in order to be ready for the new season, the new season of 2024. It's very important to prepare well for seasons as they change. Because God, who created time and seasons, created it for a purpose. And every time that comes, it has a purpose predetermined by God to achieve. Now, 2024 is coming, and is coming with this divine purpose as an assignment for each and every individual that lives here. And now, as we are coming towards the end of 2023, it is very important, and it is a necessity that every person that is getting to the next year prepares adequately so that in the next year you are able to see more of the goodness of God, the mercy of God, the favor of God. You are able to see the glory of God in your life that year than you have seen this year. I always say that every season is a school. 2023 is a school. 2024 is another school. So now in the school of 2023, you are, there are two situations that you might have faced. Number one is a situation where many things you wanted to do, you saw them come to pass. And, and, and you're very happy and excited about it. You see where God brought you from. It's a joy to see that. But I also know that in the other side of it is that there could be certain things that did not go well. It wasn't good at all for you. And that can cloud your heart with sorrow, cloud your heart with pain, cloud your heart with hopelessness. But now, whatever happened in your life, Take it as a school. Take lessons from it. The thing that happened well this year, how oh, can it be better in the coming year? The things you couldn't do this year, you failed to do this year, how, how are you going to get ill from the pain of the failure and pick up something positive to get to the new year? So, five things to do, my friends. Number one, maintain a positive atmosphere around your life. Maintain a positive atmosphere around your life. Do not allow whatever bad thing that happened in this year to kill your joy, to kill your peace, to kill your confidence, and to kill your hope. Don't allow it. I want to tell you something. Whatever happens in your life, it happens with your permission. If you are going to go sad into the next year, it is because you have chosen to get to that year sad. If you're going to be joyful and happy in the new year, it will be because you have chosen to carry with you joy into the new year. Now what you can do right now is ensure that the heart must be around you, irrespective of how many bad things that have happened in your life in this year. Do not get destroyed. Do not get killed with bitterness, with pain, with disappointment and all that. Now, great that. Now the Bible tells us in Psalms 100, Verse number one to four. It says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and to his courts, with praise, be thankful unto him and bless his name. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. One of the most wonderful things you can do to ensure your atmosphere is good is to be grateful and thankful to God. Make a joyful noise unto God. Praise him. Thank him for the great things he has done this year. Thank him for the things that went well. Thank him for the things that did not even go well. Don't allow anything else to, to soil your attitude towards God. Because how you see God will flash back to you. If you see God as a good God, a faithful God, a caring God, a loving God, it will flash back to your heart and you will have joy and peace and confidence to face the new year. Maintain a positive attitude around your life. As you are doing that, also forgive people for what they did or what they did not do to you. Forgive them. Forgive them. As long as we are still on earth, they will be always 
people who will disappoint us in one way or another. It is part of relationship. It's part of life. Now, when people act you and you continue carrying in your heart, you suffer in it. The people who are acting, they don't suffer. They may not even know that you are dying inwardly. Now, I want to tell you today in the name of Jesus that you want to maintain a positive attitude around your life as you get to the new era. Forgive them. Some of them are acting, they don't even know how much they act you. But I tell you, release them. Come on, forgive them. Don't carry burden in your heart to the new year. Delete list of people in your heart. The ones who cheated you, the ones who, 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 who ate your money, the ones who didn't pay your debts. Maybe some of them have snatched your girlfriends or boyfriends. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what they did to you. Maybe some of them contributed to you having a bad name, a place of work, whatever they did to you. But don't allow it to destroy your peace in the new year. Let them go from your heart. Forgive them. And number and another thing that you also need to do to maintain a positive attitude around your life is forgive yourself. Sometimes you sit behind and look at the opportunities you missed because maybe you are not thinking well or you had a bad attitude about that particular thing you should have done and then after you it is already gone then you realize you missed an opportunity. Sometimes people kill themselves because of that. What you failed to do. My friend, you failed, you have already failed. Don't allow it to kill another chance to succeed in 2024. Forgive yourself. People make mistakes. And mistakes are part of life. When you make mistakes, those are learning points. So that next year, you don't make the same mistakes. So I forgive myself. I made mistakes. I forgive myself. Why should I kill myself? I cannot go back to what I missed and bring it back here today. I can't correct it. I have no power over it anyway. But I have power over how I want to fail and think today. And I have power over what I should do tomorrow. But for what has really gone behind me, I have no power over it. If you made a mistake yesterday, you cannot go back there and change it. You can go there and correct it. It is already gone. But of the power over you are today. You can decide to say, yes, yesterday is gone. Today is a new day. Glory to God. I have an opportunity to do something better, something great, something good, something wonderful. I have the opportunity to do it. I will do it. I have the opportunity to avoid the mistake of yesterday in 2024. I will not make that mistake again. I tell myself, thank you for the lessons you've learned. Let's get to 2024. That's what you need to do to maintain a positive atmosphere around your life so that you are new here. You go when you are strong. The Bible tells us that the joy of the Lord is my strength. So we gain our strength from peace and joy that we receive from God. And we can only open our hearts and receive it if we are positive. Number two thing you need to do is as much as you can discern the will of God for your 2024. Discern the will of God. You know, we are not our own. The Bible tells us we are not our own. We are the people of God created by God for His own glory. We didn't just exist. We exist by the will of the Father. You are not going to live in 2024 because you want it. You are going to be there because God wants you there. And now, He doesn't want you there just to occupy His space and eat the time. No. He wants you there for something He had preordained for you to do. Now, as you get to that year, it's important that you spend time with God. Spend time to pray. Spend time to seek God. Discern the will of God for your life next year because once you discern the will of God and you have known it and you have captured it, now the will of God comes with the grace to accomplish that very thing God is willing to do. Hallelujah to Jesus. You need to discern that because once you discern the will of God, God will stretch his hand. He will bless you. He will give you the grace you need, the wisdom you need, the anointing you need to accomplish that purpose. But when you're living outside God's purpose, your 2024 may be a struggle, my friend. You don't need a struggle where you work hard and gain nothing. You run a lot, but you're going nowhere. You don't need such struggles in life. I pray in the name of the Lord that you will connect with the Holy Ghost and discern God's will for your life, God's will for your marriage, God's will for your finances, God's will. What's the purpose of God for your existence, my friend? Very good to discern that. The Holy Ghost will help you if you seek Him. Number three things. Reset your goals. Reset your goals. I don't know what your purpose to achieved in 2023. Maybe some of them you have achieved. It is time to move on and have new goals for the new year. Maybe some of them you failed and maybe you need to let them go or you need to rethink how you can make it better. 
So it is time to reset goals so that you don't go into the new year like a blind man, like a blind woman. Now, people without goals are people who are blind. People without goals are unfocused people. People without goals, they have nothing to measure for success coming the new year. It is a goal that will give you the opportunity to measure your success in that year, whether it was a good year or it is a bad year. So reset your goals. What do you want to see spiritually in your life? What do you want to see economically? What do you want to see socially? What do you want to see when it comes to your career? What is it you want to see in your marriage? What is it you want to see in all that you do? Please clear cut goals. Let it be something you can measure at the end of the day and thank God for it. So please set goals right. What do you want to do? What kind of business do you want to start next year if it is business? Do you want to upgrade? Is it something you want to do next year? Set it clear because once you have set goals, it helps the blessing in your hand. Any resource that comes with your hands to get into important things of your life. When you have no goals, and when God blesses you with money to be wasted and squandered on useless things. So people with goals, uh, people can be in charge of their budgets and expenditures, how they do it. Those without goals, when they get money, they get drunk. That's why they flush money anyhow. They do things anyhow because they don't have goals. The goals gives you the clarity of what your money should do, what your strength should do, what your time should be should be invested in, what your relationship should contribute to. This is why you need goals. So as you get there, have clear cut goals. Number four, have a plan and build valuable relationships. And I say it again, intentionally plan